Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at iMovie for the iPhone. So the iMovie app is built specifically for the iPhone 4 and doesn't work on earlier versions. It costs $5 and you can get it in the iTunes App Store. Let's take a look at how it works. So when you first run iMovie, it will ask you to start a new project. Press the plus button to do that. Then you get to select a theme. So there are five different themes to choose from. Now the theme will determine several things about the movie including the type of transition to be used and a few other bells and whistles. And there's also some theme music, default music for each theme you can use if you want to. Let's select the first theme, the modern theme there. Now you basically have four buttons to control everything. This one goes back to the list of projects. This will play the current movie. This is add media. Let's press that and it'll show you all the videos that are on your iPhone. And these have to be videos that you took with your iPhone. So let's choose one here. Fortunately you can't choose a video that you've imported onto your iPhone. Now you've got a timeline here at the bottom that you can scrub back and forth on and then you see the preview there. Let's add a second piece of media. That one. So first let's play with the transitions. You can tap on the transition here and it will give you some information about it. It's a one second transition and we can double tap on it and it will give us the option to do a cost dissolve which is always there. The themed transition which depends on the type of theme you're using or no transition at all. Now you can trim any of these clips by simply selecting it here in the timeline and then dragging one of these points and we'll shrink it. So let's create a really small movie by dragging these there and you can see the time it gives you right there. Now in addition to importing media from on your phone you could also use this button here and it will bring up the camera and allow you to record a new video and add it directly to the project. You can also choose to add photos and audio the same way you add video. You just select along the bottom here and choose any photo including photos you've imported from iPhoto and you can choose audio and it will put the music behind your video and then throw it back there. Now what you can't do in iMovie for the iPhone is add multiple tracks of audio and specify where they are. You can only have this one track and it goes by in the entire video. So to play back what we have, press the play button and it will go from the current time here all the way to the end of the video. Now you can add titling as well. So just double tap on the clip and you can look at the clip settings and you can set the title style. You can set it to none, opening, middle, or ending. Now opening and ending they only appear at either end of the clip. The middle will appear throughout the entire thing. So it's basically a lower third, something on the left there and a lower third again but just at the end. So for instance in the opening here I could have it over there. I can double tap on it and I could say put a title in there. Tap done and now I can see it here in the preview how it appears there and it will only appear there at the beginning. And you can see that was the transition for the modern theme there. Now if I change a theme by tapping on the gear button there to something else like let's say the news theme I get a couple special things. First is that opening sequence, that opening title now actually shows the location of the video. It knows from the GPS information taken from the iPhone that that video was shot in Denver and it will actually pinpoint it there on the map as well as put the title that I want. And also you notice the transition has changed as well. So we play it back. This is what we get by just changing the theme. And here's if I change it to the travel theme. You can see it still has the map there. 
and a different transition. Going back to the clip information, you can see I can change the location there if I need to. Uh, I can also change the title style there and I can turn the audio on and off for that clip if I just want to silence it and just have the music go through. So when you're done, you go back to the list of projects which you can swipe back and forth between if you have more than one and you can use the export button there and export it either in medium large or HD format. So let's for instance choose HD and we'll export the movie. And there we go. From this screen you can also preview the movie full screen like that. So once the movie is exported in your camera roll you can go to the camera roll and then of course use the functions there to email it, uh, send it by text message, uh, mobile me or your YouTube account. If you sync your iPhone with iTunes, it'll of course come into uh, your iPhoto collection as well and you can do what you want with it from there. So the iMovie app is a lot of fun to play with, but it's a little more than a toy. I don't see why anybody wouldn't just wait till they got home and then edit the movie in iMovie on their Mac, which is far more capable and you can do a lot more with it and create videos that are truly unique. Here you're basically restricted to one of the five themes and all your movies are going to look alike and look like everybody else's movies that are made in the app. I don't understand why they don't let you mix transitions from between the themes or choose from a longer list and I don't understand why you can't bring in video from iTunes which is properly formatted. I mean doing so means that you can't use custom titles say if you're building a podcast or something like that. Even if you're just using this casually just to make a quick video of your family vacation I don't see why you wouldn't go and use iMovie on your Mac to make a better one. But looking at the big picture this is the first serious video editing app on a device like the iPhone. So it's just the first step. Hopefully future versions of this and maybe some third party applications will have even more advanced editing techniques and pretty soon we'll have pretty full featured video editing apps on these mobile devices. Hope you like this look at iMovie for the iPhone. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.